Hello friends, Salaam Alaikum. <coughs> Guys, uh, I am here in San Francisco. Uh, and uh, today I am going to talk to you about the life in San Francisco uh, and how expensive it is to live out here. Uh, guys, first let me tell you that this place is just amazing, you know, it's just amazing. We are in San Carlos, which is just on the outskirts of San Francisco and uh, it's a real expensive area. <coughs> okay guys, so I'll uh, show you the uh, streets uh, where I'm walking and also I'll uh, talk to you meanwhile. So guys, stay tune, tune in. Uh, so guys, uh, today the weather is just amazing, it's slightly cloudy. It's uh, getting a little chilly. Uh, last few days were pretty warm in the daytime, but today is just an amazing day. <laughs> okay, guys, now to tell you about the houses right here in San Carlos. <clears throat> guys, a very old house which is uh, not in a very good condition will cost you around 2.5 million. That is 25 lakh dollar. और वो भी वो घर जो सही कंडीशन में नहीं है, which needs little bit of repair upgradation and some houses which are in slightly new condition, they start from about 3.5 million, यानी के 35 लाख डॉलर। So guys, houses are very very steep और भाई यहाँ पे जो है ना uh, most of the houses are self-owned. Jo, uh, those people who have already, you know, uh, 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 done their work and are uh, either retired or on the verge of retiring and they have paid off their loans. So most of the, uh, the houses belong to the landlords. So they don't have uh, mortgages. But those people who are uh, living here on rent and they have to pay their... Uh, Mortgages. Uh, the mortgages should be roughly around a uh, five thousand to six thousand dollars per month. I mean that, uh, and rents would be around say four thousand to four thousand five hundred or even more. So those people who are paying rents, they really need to earn a very high income to stay in a place like this and uh, even if they are uh, taken things on mortgage a house on mortgage so they must have paid a sizable amount uh, first uh, as down payment and now they must be paying about five thousand six thousand dollars per month as mortgage and guys uh, cars cars are also very expensive uh, you can find a second hand car around 20,000, 25,000 uh, dollars which is which has run quite a lot you know about about one lakh miles or maybe 80,000 miles or something like that but if you go for a slightly better car the prices are about 35, 40, 45,000 dollars and brand new cars they cost 70,000, 80,000, 90,000 depends and <coughs> if you buy a brand new car for say example seventy thousand eighty thousand dollars the mortgages uh, you would have to pay is around i'm not very sure but a thousand dollars maybe so now let's talk about the cost of living right guys so you take out about five thousand dollars for your mortgage of your house if and every family mostly has got minimum two cars you know and if they have got grown-up children then they have extra cars but uh, let us say uh, two cars, so the mortgage would be around two thousand dollars for that. So seven thousand dollars per month only on your house and car, right? Then plus you add your utilities, your groceries, and if you have a child who is uh, uh, below five years of age, uh, they have to go to their preschool. Uh, schools, uh, play schools, whatever. 
and there they pay a hefty amount of maybe starting from two and a half thousand three thousand four thousand dollars per month so if you've got a small child two three years old and they're going to the play schools uh, they are paying around two thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars so now let us add it up 5,000 plus 2,000, 7,000, 7,000 plus uh, 2,500, 9,500 utilities, which I'm not very sure, but you can take it around minimum $500, minimum. Eh? And in the winter, when you're using more of gas and uh, electricity to warm your house, maybe the cost will increase. Uh, beyond the thousand dollars uh, Groceries I still don't have much idea But uh, minimum would be about fifteen hundred dollars Per month So guys those people who are living here They should be earning real well Got it? So ten thousand dollars is just nothing peanuts So if one person has got a good job a well-paid white color job then he earns maybe ten thousand dollars so if only one person is earning they are not saving even one dime so in US in order to survive and live well and enjoy a good lifestyle go and eat out do your shopping have good cell phones watch good uh, things on the cable like netflix and all and uh, use uh, the cellular uh, internet for your home and your uh, on your phones i mean life is pretty expensive and you need two members earning in your family if you want to live well so that's it about uh, uh, but otherwise life is so good you can see on the streets uh, this is around uh, 12 uh, noon and uh, you can see there is no 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 rush on the roads people are busy in their lives retired people are uh, either come out for the walk or stay indoors watch TV children go to school from maybe 8 in the uh, morning till uh, 5 in the evening so it's so much of peace and just look at the quality of life man amazing clean roads good systems in place garbage no problem of electricity water gas everybody is living a very good life without any facing any day-to-day -day issues like in pakistan kabhi bijli nahi hai kabhi pani nahi hai kabhi gas nahi hai uh, roads toote hue hai cars are in bad shape yeah you see mostly people are having luxurious cars and i don't think any second hand car out here on these streets would be less than forty five thousand fifty thousand dollars even a used car because i mostly see good cars a car like tesla or bmw would cost you about 70 80 90 thousand dollars brand new cars so that's a lot of money when you compare it uh, if you uh, multiply in pakistan rupees so guys what i'm trying to show you i mean these people are living an excellent life excellent good food clean food clean air no pollution no traffic i mean life is so good you know the only issue is your income if i'm a worker class a blue collar work then maybe in places like san francisco i would earn something like three and a half thousand dollars per month in other cities i might earn two thousand five hundred three thousand dollars a month that's highly insufficient you know you would have to count each and every penny you would have to think before you spend every dollar right you would just have to go simply to dollar stores 
one dollar stores and buy a few things i mean do shopping once in a while maybe in a couple of months uh think about going to restaurants mostly cook at home then only you can survive but in order to live a very nice life in a place like san carlos ten thousand dollars is peanuts so if the husband and wife both are earning maybe twenty thousand dollars a month then you are having a very good life good house good cars good quality of life eating out going for shopping uh sending your child to a good uh, school i mean those things you can avail and live a very nice life just see the just see the peace have you seen any of this type of peace in a place like karachi impossible at 12 in the noon there is no traffic the roads are clean houses are well maintained i mean i have not seen a house where even the paint has peeled or where i can see some uh, things on the building like uh, a drainage leak or you know seepage or anything like like of thing so guys i am just you know i am amazed i am amazed at the quality of life but for a person like me who is coming from karachi who is almost reaching the age of uh, 60 years who can't do much hard work uh, and even if i do hard work for maybe 10 hours or 12 hours a day i would only be struggling i would only be making my ends meet so the bottom line is more than one member of the family should be earning and then only you can live a slightly better life but if your wife is a housewife and your child is going to preschool nursery or play school it is not possible to survive it is not possible to survive here even in uh, other cities like in texas like dallas atlanta or houston or you know any city in and around texas or uh, georgia or whatever uh, which are supposed to be little cheaper than san francisco <clears throat> so guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video i will come up with more facts and uh, i'll take you out uh, to the uh, other stores like uh, costco joe traders and we'll compare some of the prices uh, and i'll keep you updated see you guys i hope you like the video do like and share thank you